all right guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do a natural makeup tutorial and i'm just gonna show you guys how i achieve this flawless look this is my everyday makeup look so when i say everyday i mean what i'm gonna do when i'm running somewhere a quick meeting date night girls night you name it just something quick and easy so before we get into this video of course make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so today I'm going to get into this video by doing my natural makeup routine, which is a very highly requested video that people have been asking me about. So before I get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So first things first, I'm about to get into my super thick brows, as you guys can see. I don't really do too much. I just fill in the little sparse areas just so it could come together. And just add a little arch to my brow with a brow pencil. So I actually like to do pencil instead of a pomade because it's just way easier for me to control. Because like I said, my brows are super thick and I'm not trying to make it look too thick. So once I'm done filling in my brows, I like to go in with my concealer. I'm actually using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. So I just start by making slight little lines under my brow and then continuously dragging it down just to get that shade that I want. Once I'm done blending under my brow, I like to go in with my actual foundation shade, which is NARS New Caledonia, for the top of my brow, just so that it's not super harsh like the concealer. And using the foundation actually just makes it look so much more natural. So I go in with that on the top, just to continue to conceal my brows. So now that I'm done concealing my eyebrows, I'm just adding a little bit more concealer to my blending brush just so that I can set a good base for the eyeshadow that I'm about to apply. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Cano from a Juvia's Palace eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna use this shade for my entire lid. This is the best brown shade for my eyes, and I just love this shade when I'm doing a natural look. Once that eyeshadow is all blended in, I'm gonna go on with my favorite mink lashes by Blink Beauty in the style Savage. These lashes are so beautiful. So of course I had to apply my lashes off camera just to make the process go by a little bit faster. But now I'm about to go on with my Smashbox primer, the best primer I've ever used. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. Thank you. 
Now, once that primer is all blended in, it's now time to go in with my foundation. Like I said before, this is New Caledonia. This NARS foundation is to die for. Guys, definitely get your hands on it. So now we're just gonna blend in the foundation just so I can get a nice seamless look and a finished look so that way my skin can be flawless. And once that's all blended in, we're gonna move on to the next step. So now it's time for my most favorite part, highlighting and contouring. I'm just gonna start by going back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer just to highlight all the high points of my face, such as under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, chin, you name it, it's getting highlighted. Now, once I'm done highlighting, I'm gonna go in and contour my face. I'm actually using a Sephora contour and foundation stick in the shade Ebony. Okay, so now that I've highlighted and contoured, it's now time to blend it all in. I'm first going in with my Fabulous Beauty Blender, number one trusted product to blend in your makeup, ladies. Trust and believe me. So I'm actually going to be using this and two other tools to get this task accomplished. I'm using my beauty blender, my foundation brush, and my small blending brush to blend this all in. So I really love to use my foundation brush to blend in my contour areas. I just feel like it gives it a more natural look instead of having harsh contour lines all over your face. So you're going to see me use my foundation brush to blend that in. Then you're going to see me go back in with my beauty blender to go back over my highlight. It's a process when you're blending this in, but you have to do the most to make sure your makeup is flash approved. So now you guys see me coming in with my small blending brush just to blend out those light contour lines over my nose. This really just helps make it way easier for me to blend. I know some people like to use a beauty blender, but this is just easier for me. So this is what I like to use. All right, ladies, it is time to set that makeup, bake that makeup. It is baking time. So I'm going on my Huda Beauty setting powder that I love, love, love so much. I'm going under my eyes and just all in the areas that I highlighted in. While my face is baking, I like to apply my waterline eyeliner so that way it just doesn't get on my foundation and it's just easier to clean up if there is any fallout. So now I'm just gonna dust away all that 
setting powder off my face with this nice fluffy brush. Now I'm going to go on with this Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mocha Mommy just to set my contour areas. So now I'm just adding the finishing touches to my makeup. Right now I'm using an Anastasia Beverly Hills loose highlight just to highlight my face and just add some glow honey. Once I'm done with that, I'm going in with my NARS Blush Orgasm, my most favorite blush. Oh my gosh, if you haven't gotten that yet, please get it. It is a game changer, most definitely. So this is the last step guys, I am adding lip gloss to my lips. I am using a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Oh my god, my absolute favorite and it sucks because it's always sold out. But this is what I'm putting on my lips today and once that is on, my look is complete. All right guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like for me. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more makeup tutorials, leave a thumbs up in my comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.